Hello Floss Tube, Olivia here, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Today is Friday, August 23rd. I hope that you are all doing well and that you have been stitching and creating all of the things. It has been two weeks since my last update and I was trying to sit here or stand here and think about what I have been doing over the past two weeks and I feel like it's just kind of all blurred together. Um, believe it or not, this is like the eight millionth take of my video that I have done today. Um, for one reason or another, I, I delete them. And uh, so hopefully, I took a deep breath and I restarted again, so hopefully I'll be able to continue on and not be, I hate this, and delete it. So anyway, so like I said, I hope that you have all been well. I wanna thank everyone who left well wishes for Allison in my last video. She is much better. Um, I firmly believe that when you send out well wishes, it definitely reaches the person it's intended to and it helps a great deal. So thank you to everybody who extended well wishes to her. Um, we have been getting ready for back to school. Um, we've been getting her ready to, you know, getting her things for her dorm. Um, I think now she's just down to like those incidentals, you know, like Q-tips and, you know, band-aids and, you know, soap and things like that, you know, things that you don't necessarily think of, but you're like, ooh, I better get her some of that because she's going to need it. So the big stuff, I think for the most part, we've got, and now it's just down to the little stuff that we need to get for her. But she does not move into her dorm until the 22nd of September, so I have a little bit of time left to spend with her, and I am relishing every minute and every moment because I know that before I get here, before I know it, it'll be back to school for her and, um, you know, she will, you know, once you get in, you know, once you're, you know, at college, you've got so many things for you to do and it's a whole community and I know that um, she will get busy doing some of that stuff and she probably won't come home all that often. So I am taking every opportunity and spending time with her. Um, however, for my son, Ethan, he starts school the day after Labor Day, and he is less than thrilled. Um, he will be an eighth grader this year, so it's his last year of middle school, and I've already told him that he's probably going to get smothered once Allison goes off to school because he'll be the only one here. So, and all I can picture is Beverly Goldberg in my mind. So, yeah, he's been warned, w warned that I will be smothering him. So. And for the most part, he's fine with it, so that's good. Uh, but our summer is winding down. We have uh, one more week, and then we will be back into the bump and grind of the school year, and I'm kind of looking forward to it because I feel like we are a little bit more structured during the school year than we are during the summer, and I always feel like I get way more accomplished in the school year than I do during the summer. Um, so I will be looking forward to kind of getting a little bit more of that, more of a schedule back into our rhythm again. Um, and I say that and I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to start waking up early and getting Ethan ready and yeah, it's fine. You know, it's kind of one of those, those things you're like happy, but you're not, but you are, but you're not. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but so yeah, we've got one more week of summer. Um, and uh, the weather's finally supposed to be nice. I think it's actually going to be summer. It's supposed to be in the 90s next week. So summer's going to visit for a week. So it's been raining here and cloudy and yucky. I mean, we've had a few days of nice weather, but this summer definitely has been a little bit weird as far as the weather goes. Um, I don't mind it. Husband, he's been a little grumpy about it, but I actually like not going outside and sweating through my clothes. So, um, but he likes it to be blue skies and sunny. And so, yeah. Anyway, so wrapping up summer, excited to get back into the uh, structure of it all and uh, excited that it's gonna be autumn. I just, I can't, I'm, I love autumn. You know this, that's why my name is Pumpkin Hollow, but um, I love pumpkin everything. Um, I love the change of the seasons. I just, I love it all. I'm very excited that um, autumn is finally here or nearly here, I should say. I think we're like a month from today is autumn. So I'm excited. And yes, I do decorate early. 
Um, I usually decorate, I'll probably decorate about a month from now. I, I'm not sure if I'll decorate before Allison goes off to school or after. I'm not, I haven't quite determined that yet, but I do decorate early. And a lot of the time I, as I'm making things and finishing like autumn things, I will just go ahead and put them up. I won't, you know, tuck them away until I get everything else up. I'll just put them out. So, um, but yeah, I'm very excited for all things autumn. Um, before I go any further into my video, I was contacted a little birdie. Um, she told me that there is a very special gal whose birthday is tomorrow. Well, actually, when you see this video, it will actually be her birthday. And that is Leanne of Lost and Floss. So Leanne, happy birthday. I hope that you get spoiled rotten and that you have a wonderful day and wish I could be there to help celebrate it with you because it would be a lot of fun. And uh, I love birthdays, so especially if there's cake. So I hope there's cake because <laughs> I love cake. And that's actually my MO. Anytime my brother or somebody is like, hey, you want to come over to a birthday party? I'll be like, is there cake? Yes, I'll be there. So Leanne, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Um, I can't wait to hear all about it in your guys' next floss tube video. So happy birthday. You know you're one of my favorite people. So I hope it's a great day. So in my last video, I talked about the anniversaries of the heart stitch along that I am co-hosting with Deborah of Canopied Stitches on Instagram. And so I'll show the charts again. Some of the charts, these are some of the charts. There's 12 of them. Um, and one of the questions that I got was, I can only find 12 of the charts. There are only 12 charts. But in two of the charts, there are bonus patterns. So what was happening was is they were Googling anniversaries of the heart and then they were seeing some of the finished pieces that come off and they were counting the, um, the blocks. And so it was coming up as 14. Um, and so they were like, well, I can only find 12. The bonus charts are in Swan Lake, which is number seven, and that is the bonus. And then in number 12, Elizabeth Jane. And that is the bonus, which I hope that is how you say her name. Um, so all you need are the 12. Once you have those, you're good to go and you can start stitching. Um, some places you can find them all and you can just buy them all at the same time. Some you have to kind of look and search. I purchased mine from Sassy Jacks, Jen Stitching Niche, Acorns and Threads, and 123Stitch. But I had purchased mine over the course of like six months, uh, which you could technically still do. I mean, you could just purchase two a month starting with the first two. Um, you could go that route because that's what I did. Um, and it took me about six months to get all of them. Um, I would just buy two a month. Um, or you can just buy them all together and, and have them all. Um, sometimes you can find them on eBay. You can buy the whole U set and it's only like $50. Um, you can just, you, if you just look around, you should be able to find them because I know that um, Blackbirds did kind of re-release them and so they're a little bit more readily available. Um, and so just, you know, type it into the Google search bar and it'll have shops pop up that have them in stock. Um, the next question I got was, what am I stitching it on? So this is a piece of 35 count uh, sand and I'm not sure if it's a Belfast or what is that other one? Edin Edinburgh? And I'm probably Edinburgh. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Um, but I purchased mine from Willow Fabrics out of the UK and I get this big piece and I think it was like $13 or something like that. And it's the perfect size. So I will go ahead and stitch mine all on that. I am going to stitch it using some of the called for and DMC. Um, and I'm starting that January 1st and the hashtag that we are using RBB anniversaries 2020 and I will make sure to put all of the information down below in my description box. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, I don't mind at all. I know some people are like, I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and ask me any question. I'm cool with it. So no worries, ask away. Um, so let's get into my progress because this is about the time where I'm like, nope, I hate it, click, and I start over again. 
So we're just gonna like squeak beyond that and we're gonna go right into my progress. So as you know, if you've been following like my last handful of videos, I started doing a stitch rotation. I have three projects I'm working on. Um, Glitter Village, I work on on Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday through Friday, I've been rotating between Skeleton Crew by the Cricut Collection. And the reason why I say it like that is because over the past two weeks, I, I finished a project and I started a project. So I can't be like, well, I did these three consecutively because one of the ones I finished. So here is my progress on Skeleton Crew. Uh, I think on my last video I was still working on the mast. So I have now moved to the back of the boat. And then once I get um, right, so the page is actually going to end somewhere on the bottom here. So I'm just going to continue filling in the back of the boat. And then I'm going to go work on the... Um, the other mast, the mast at the end of the ship, which is this right here. So I'll be working on that. I'm stitching it on 32 count, picture this plus heritage that I picked up at uh, Acorn, Acorns and Threads and I'm stitching it with all of the called for DMC. Let me move in a little bit more. Here we go. I'm hoping to get it finished before Halloween. I'm hoping. Um, I did have somebody, ooh, and I forgot to, I forgot to grab it. So I had somebody ask me if I was using the DMC glow in the dark thread that you can uh, purchase. No, I'm using the Krynik. And I will, I will list in the description box below what the numbers are, because there's two different ones. There's like one that's a little bit more of like a yellow and the other is kind of a white. And in fact, I use the white one for the skeletons. So the skeletons, they glow in the dark. And so what I did was, is I use a piece of the called for DMC and then a piece of the Krynik. And I put the two pieces together and I stitch with them. And they re it really does glow in the dark. I was really surprised. Um, but they really were, they really were showing off really, really well. So I will make sure to put all that in the description box below because I meant to pull them in here and show you what they were. Um, Glitter Village, so that is my weekend project. So I have been working on Glitter House 8 and I wanna say that I had started it in my last video. I think, I think I had just started part of it. So here is my progress. So I'm still working on uh, number eight. It's taking me a little bit longer to stitch it than normal. But I am hopeful that I'll be able to finish it this weekend and start on number nine. And I had somebody ask me how many uh, houses were in the Glitter Village series and there are only nine. So it's just three rows of three. I know a few of the other series have, like Santa's Village has, I think there are 12? I think there's 12 in that series, but this one only has nine. And she does have a new series coming out. It's got snowmen on it. Um, and I had somebody ask if I was going to be stitching that one, and I'm not. It's really cute, but no, I um, kind of want to start collecting the um, early Americans. So I'm hoping to maybe start that at some point next year. Um, I am also using all of the called for, which this is what's left of all of the thread. Um, it's getting a little bit scant. Um, I've used a lot of it. So this is what's left. And uh, instead of using bamboo, the classic Colorworks bamboo, I am using 3865 DMC. And then a new start I had this past week was Night Flight by the Prairie Schooler. So this, this particular one here um, is going to be my exchange piece. So I am in the Stitcher's Coven, which is a Facebook group. And so this is going to be my exchange piece with my, I guess it's not really my partner, just my exchange person. Um, and I have to have this done and mailed out by September 15th. And I've already decided to do a pillow finish. So this is my progress. So 
So I think I started this last Friday, so I've been working on it for three days, three nights, four nights maybe, maybe four nights I've worked on this, because I also took it with me to my quilt group and worked on it. So that is where I have gotten to. The only thing I'm super bummed about it, and I think I mentioned this on my Facebook, was I'm using Blackboard, and there is no variegation. It just looks like DMC 310. And so I'm a little bit bummed because I wanted to there to be like kind of like a crusty, old and crusty um, vibe to it just because of the fabric. And, you know, I always feel like prairie schoolers are kind of, um, they've always has, have a little bit of a vintage vibe to them. Um, but the orange marmalade, which is what I'm using for the moon, it's got fantastic variegation. I'm so in love with it. And I think it's definitely one of my new favorites and one that I probably will be using in more of my Halloween stuff and even my autumn stuff because the variegation is amazing. Um, I had a finish. So this is Where the Bittersweet Blooms by Brenda Gervais. And I also fully finished it and I finished it last night. So let me tell you the story of how I finished it. Um, originally, I think I had mentioned I was going to frame this piece because when I stitched it, that's how I envisioned that I was going to finish it. I was going to go and find a frame that was going to kind of be kind of a vintage style frame and maybe have it up on my sampler wall. Well, when I went into Michael's to search for the frame, the sad thing was that this um, finished at such an odd size, <coughs> sorry, that I wasn't gonna be able to find a frame. Like it was too big for a five by seven. It was too big for a six by nine. Well, it, it wasn't that it was too big, but like the length or the width, it was too wide. Length, it was totally fine. But the bad thing is if I would have put it like in a six by nine, it would have been really tight here and really long up and down. So I searched around Michael's. I'm like, what am I going to do? Um, should I finish it as a pillow? I really didn't want to pay to have it custom framed because I've got some other things that I would rather, when they're finished, I would rather pay to have those uh, custom framed. So I just so happened to be walking past a the unfinished aisle. And at that point I was like, oh, I should see if they have some of those paper mache shaker boxes because I have been wanting to get a stack of those so I can paint them and you know, grunge them up and have them as part of my fall decorations and autumn and Christmas and all that. So I'm like, oh, let's go down the unfinished, the unfinished wood aisle and where all of that stuff is kept. They didn't have that, but they did have a chalkboard. And so this is the back. So, you know, basically, except, you know, imagine this part was black. And so it has, you know, the unfinished wood. So I was like, well, it might fit in something like that. I could probably like maybe permanently put it in here. Um, and then it would just, you know, stay with my fall decorations. So then I'm like, well, if I do it this way, how would I paint it? Because I definitely would want it to have that like grungy, antique-ish sort of look to it. So I went into the, the, you know, they have like the sale section, the clearance section, and I found some of this on clearance. And then I already had, I get a lot of questions about what I use for my antiquing. This is what I use. So I brought this home and I, you know, brought so I bought this, bought this, and then I came home and I painted it, let it dry, and then I went over it with my antiquing wax. <coughs> Man, sorry. And uh, just sort of grunged it up. Gave it sort of that antique-ish look that I gravitate towards. Um, I think in my last video I mentioned that, you know, my house, and you've seen the interior of my house, um, it's very earth tony, so I've been trying to be a little bit more better about when I pick out how to finish it, I style it so that it looks good in, with the earth tones. So this is my finish. I had some uh, autumn decorate or autumn floral that I hot glued and just kind of you know fiddled until I liked it. And so I think it turned out pretty well. I like it. Um, I stitched it on a piece of 32 count linen that I tea coffee dyed and I used 
the majority of the called for except for um, I think I use roasted marshmallow for any of the white so I have a fall finish so I'm really excited I love it um, you know fall I mean I've already said fall is my favorite time of the year so this just makes me so happy so I love it love it love it love it and it's really easy to do you know where you just go buy one of those unfinished pieces of wood. I think I used a coupon, uh, like a 40% off coupon to buy it. Um, and I had a 20% off my purchase. So <clears throat> I'm able to kind of keep the cost of my finishing stuff low. Um, but it's, you know, all I do is come home and I paint it. You know, I just paint it with this, let it dry, go over it, and then go over it with this and then I wipe it down, let that dry, and then I kind of come back with both of them and just kind of like touch it up where I think it needs it. Um, I've kind of been thinking about doing a tutorial, so I don't know if, if you guys would be interested in seeing how I grunge up my pieces. Um, it's really easy, honestly. Um, I try to keep things as simple as possible because I'm a serial procrastinator, and so if it's anything difficult at all, I'll be like, eh, I'll get to it in six months because I would rather it just be simple. Um, I don't put any varnish on it. Some, you know, there's like some controversy about that. It's like, well, once you paint it, you should varnish it. I don't because at some point, what if I don't like this and I want to pop this off and put it in something else and then I've got this board. I, I just want to be able to repaint it. So, and not have to sand it and do all of that stuff to it. So. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing me do a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Um, and that's maybe something I can shoot for the next time I have something that I need to paint. So let me know. Anyway, so let me see where I'm at here. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I, well, one thing I bought, one thing that was given to me. And this is quilt related. So I picked up this pattern from the pattern basket. And it's pumpkins, of course. They look like scrappy pumpkins. And so I figure if I show you this, then I will do it. So I'm hoping to get started on this soon because I love it. The pattern basket has a lot of great patterns. There's a ghost pattern that is super, super cute. The ghosts have little bows in their hair. Really cute. But when it came down to it, I had to choose between the two. And so I chose this one because I love pumpkins. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to work on that coming up here soon. And that's why I showed it to you because again, if I show it to you, then I have to do it. It's like legit, I have to do it. And then one of my quilting friends gave me this book and I was flipping through it and there's one chart that I absolutely love and that is this. And hopefully it is coming out okay but I just, I saw it and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I think at some point I will stitch it. And I'm not really sure when this book came out or even who designed it. I don't even think it says. I don't think it does. I think it was just something that they put together because then in the book there's this that comes after it. So, yeah. But when I saw the shirts, I just, I definitely felt, I mean, that is just the coolest little church. So I think I would like to stitch that. I don't know when, but I definitely want to try to stitch it. Anyway, it comes in this book. <coughs> I'm not sure. It looks like it might have come from Amazon. And I should have looked to see if it was still available, but that's what it's called, cross stitch. So anyway, I thought that was really cool and I thought I can't go without showing you guys. So one more thing before I get to my giveaway. This video looks like it might just be a short one, which that's not so bad, especially since it has to back up to my Google Drive before I can even touch it. So um, I think in my last video, I talked about some of the DIYers that I was binge watching. And so there's a gal and I, I should have looked up what her name was. Her uh, YouTube name is My DIY. And so she had a tutorial to make this wreath. All of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree except for the bow. Um, I had that bow already kind of pre-made and um, it didn't really have a home and so after I finished making it, I stuck it in there. 
Um, but yeah, all of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree, even the little wreath. So I will try to find um, the tutorial and I will put the link below in case you are interested in putting one of these together for yourself. It, it was very easy. I think it took me about an hour. Um, and I went and I pulled it off the door right before I filmed the video because I realized that I never showed anybody that I finished it. So um, again, it was very easy. Everything came from the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty positive her name is My DIY, and I will put that information down below. And then I had somebody ask what other DIYers I have been watching. Um, Country Charm by Tracy. Love her videos. Go check her out. She does amazing wreaths. Of course, My DIY does as well, um, but both of those ladies do amazing wreaths. Um, the only difference between Country Charm by Tracy is that she will get her stuff from the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, and there's like one other place. And so, but she'll tell you, she's, you know, if she's starting a project, she's like, this is where I bought all of this stuff. And so she, you can definitely know where you need to go to pick up, you know, your supplies. So she's really good about letting you know. And then there's one other lady and I totally forgot what her name was but I will link her down below as well because I've watched one of her videos and I love her I love them so um but I, off the top of my head I think I've it's only because I've only watched one of them um, and I think I watched her after my last video went up and uh, I meant to go back and watch a few more it's something my farmhouse and it um oh to be purple she is a floss tuber she's the one that told me about her was it retro farmhouse I'll put the link below but she told me about her and so I went and checked her out um, and I loved her videos as well so I will put the three links to those gals down below so that you can go check them out too everything that they do a lot of it comes from the Dollar Tree um, but sometimes they'll have to get stuff from like Hobby Lobby like ribbon and things like that so um, go check them out you'll become addicted like me because anytime I see that they've got a video and they're making a wreath I'm there checking it out. Um, Country Charm by Tracy has a couple of uh, pumpkin. Um, you take pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and you come home and you basically like declutter them of their stuff and then you put other stuff on and then you, you make these other things with them and they're just fantastic. So my Dollar Tree doesn't always carry the stuff, um, but I know a lot of the other ones do. So anyway, go check them out. So let me make sure that that is everything I wanted to chat about. And I also think at 20, 28 minutes in that my brother has probably clicked off. So you might notice this picture up here. That is my brother, Brad. So in my last video, he left me a comment saying, you know, something about being out here and that the thing I was missing was a picture of my awesome brother who lives in Las Vegas. And so I'm like, well, you can't tell me that and not expect that I'm not going to like retaliate. So this is a picture of my awesome brother, Brad. Um, he had sent me a picture. He's like, oh, you might consider doing, you know, this one in your video. And I couldn't get it to, um, it, it didn't want to like come off my phone. And I was in a little bit of a hurry uh, because I knew I was coming out here to do my video. So this picture here was from when we went to Mount St. Helens like three or four years ago. And every time I would hand him to take a picture and say, you know, you take a picture of us, he would do a selfie. And so they were always ridiculous like that. And so I'm like, that's the one I'm going to do. So that's why there's a picture of him behind me <laughs> because I'm pretty sure he did not watch me this far into my video. So anyway, that's why you're probably going, why does she have a picture of some guy over her shoulder? It's my brother, Brad. And it's basically because he dared me to do it. So... <laughs> You can't not, you know, especially as like a sibling, when your sibling throws down a gauntlet, you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna ignore that. I'm like, no, I'm gonna pick up the gauntlet and I'm gonna run with it. So this is Brad. <laughs> so anyway, so that brings me to my giveaway section of the video. I can't, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. So anyway, we're just gonna do the giveaway. So. The giveaway eh, from two weeks ago was for this project bag. And my uh, giveaway question was, what do you like to eat when you're not feeling well? Like what is your, you know, what is something that you like to 
eat when you know when you've not been feeling well and you're starting to feel better and it just sounds good to you and so it's something that you always associate with getting better and so I had a lot of great comments um, some comments uh, were unexpected like you wouldn't think that that combination of food would appeal to you when you're you know not feel you know when you're starting to feel better like you've been sick and your stomach's waking up and you're like I need to eat something what do I eat and so I loved reading all of the comments um, they honestly they range from all sorts of different foods so it was great reading through all of them and thank you to so much to everybody who commented I really appreciate you guys um, you know uh, what do they call that um, you know joining in you know and not thinking it's weird when I ask these random questions and you're just like I'm just gonna answer the question and I just think it's great that you guys all participate and it's great and I um, I wouldn't be here honestly if it weren't for all of my amazing subscribers so you know thank you guys so much I honestly wish I could give everybody a project bag every week but I can only give one and so you know I just I appreciate all of you guys who come back and you watch my videos even when they're a little bit off like this one is um, I really just appreciate you guys so so much and uh, and also to the new subscribers so I guess for a little while my video is coming up as a recommended and so I got a bunch of new subscribers so welcome to all my new subscribers um, I appreciate you being here and I'm so glad that you gave my videos a chance and watched me and liked what you saw and clicked the subscribe button I appreciate it welcome but without further ado uh, so the winner for the project bag is Misty Dupree so Misty uh, get a hold of me via email uh, pumpkinhollowquilting at gmail.com and I will get your project bag out in the mail to you next week it's one of my favorite honestly like I said in my last video this project bag right here my favorite this is this is fall this is my fall right here so um, thank you to everybody who entered. Misty, congratulations. But, so let me tell you a little something before I show you what this week's giveaway is. Um, so I had planned to do a Christmas giveaway in this video because I did Halloween and autumn already. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do Christmas. Um, and everything was good to go. I had the fabric. The only thing I didn't have was zippers. And so what had happened was, is I had ordered some zippers and they got lost in the mail and so I've I had to contact the seller and she sent, is sending me out some new zippers but they won't be here until Monday so I will um, save the Christmas project bag and that will be in my next video and so this week I got to do Halloween so uh, this one has my grandma's vintage lace just a cute little um, Halloween I have one of these in my shop as well and so it's just a cute little fun Halloween bag um, but yeah next week or next in my next video I promise it'll be a Christmas bag but this time it's Halloween so I hope you don't mind that I have put another Halloween one up as my giveaway bag I know Halloween is not for everybody but maybe you have a friend who likes Halloween and you could win it and you could give it to her or him so now the question um, what is the name of the movie you will watch every time it comes on TV? So for me, I have three. Pride and Prejudice with uh, Colin Firth. I don't care which one of the six episodes the miniseries is on, I will watch it. Um, I also will watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and A Christmas Story. So anytime those come on, it doesn't matter what time of the year they come on, how far they are into the movie, I will watch it because I love them. So, um, yeah, tell me what yours is in the comment section below, um, and I will pick a winner in my next video. You must be a subscriber. You must like the video, and as usual, don't say giveaway. Although I don't really think it matters because a lot of times I see people say giveaway in my video, and I don't think they get a bunch of weird people, but let's just say that, you know, there might be, so just don't say giveaway. So. Uh, what is the name of the movie that you watch every time it comes on TV? Comment section below and you could be a winner in my next video. Well guys, that wraps it up for this video. I'm so happy that my 900th million take 
was the winning take. And I was able to get all the way through the video without deleting it. Um, hopefully my next video, which we will be back into the rhythm of back to school, will go a little bit more flawlessly. Um, hopefully I'm not going to watch this video back and cringe a whole bunch of times, but it's okay. I'm not perfect. so. Uh, but I will see you guys in two weeks. I hope you have a great end to your summer. Hope you have a fabulous Labor Day weekend. Leanne, happy birthday, girl. And uh, I will see you in my next video. So have a great one, guys. Bye.